ever noticed how our brain can plan an entire life but can't make you get out of the bed? Our brain says call it fear, we call it I'll start tomorrow. We set alarms to wake up early and work out and then we wake up and start negotiating like we are in a hostage situation. Okay brain, 5 more minutes. We promise we'll change our life after that. We buy notebooks to start something new. The notebook ends up becoming a coaster. We scroll reels about productivity for hours and call it research. We even make to-do lists and then feel productive just for making the lists. That's like buying running shoes and calling ourselves an athlete. There's actually a name for this. Approach avoidance conflict. Psychologist Kurt Levin first studied it. He said the closer we get to something we want, the stronger the fear of it becomes. Like when the alarm rings, we wanted to wake up early. But now that it's happening, we'd like to unsubscribe it. The brain doesn't like better, it likes familiar. It's like our internal Wi-Fi, this connection isn't great, but at least we know the password. So we keep choosing the known discomfort over the known possibility. Because the comfort zone isn't about comfort, it's about predictability. And here's the kicker, it's not even our fault. The moment we imagine doing something new, the body often mounts an anticipatory response, which can include cortisol, the stress chemical. To escape that, we do something easy and instantly rewarding. Scroll, snack or nap. That gives us a tiny hit of dopamine. Boom, the brain learns. Avoiding is equal to feels good and trying feels scary. So the loop repeats itself every single day. So how do we trick the trickster? Start smaller than your brain can argue with. Don't run 5 kilometers, just wear the shoes. Reward efforts, not result. Take one step, say, Nice work, genius. Make discomfort familiar. Once your brain recognizes this, it is safe. It stops sending fear alerts every time you try something new. We all wait for the right time, the perfect mood, the right Monday. But maybe there is no big leap of faith. Maybe it's just one little awkward step forward. Not as Instagramable. Maybe that's the kind of progress that actually matters. Welcome to the Brain Chuckle, where we decode the brain one laugh at a time.